Good morning. Welcome to this gorgeous Sunday morning from Kuala Hopkins International Airport. We got a U.S. 737 taxiing over. It is beautiful today. Probably upper 50s, not a cloud in the sky for mid-October. We are being so blessed. Thank you all for being here. This is United Flight 1797 heading to Tampa. Got a special livery inbound here in a little bit, so we'll stay up here and get that. I was going to go to Columbus today because the National 747 is coming in. I forgot that we got some plans for tonight. Definitely a crazy weekend. A plane was to come up yesterday and and uh, get the 757 for United for the Browns. And then we had a kind of a little catastrophe at home. So we spent all day cleaning that up. But it's a better day today. It's gorgeous. Can't complain. This thing wasn't here very long. Yeah. I saw this landing as I, as I was pulling in, like, I don't know, 15 minutes ago, maybe? It's a beautiful citation. I don't know where it's going. It's not listed, but what a gorgeous Four aircraft. Maintain 4,000. Okay, Columbus, 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 Columbus. Citation 812 Hotel Alpha, holding short of 6 right at Lima 1. Uh, right, Station 812 Hotel Alpha Cleveland Tower, 1403, on 663 Strike, clear for takeoff, Stream inbound from Teterboro. B2 ramp, we have all passengers on board for JFK. Get me ready to go here shortly. Stop. All right, look at that, some different options. Maybe switch it back to the camp for a lot of the tripod stuff, especially try to do some live streams. Back when the, uh, the, 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 the fact that this camera will only record with one 
Got another hawker. This one's inbound from Brunswick. I think I got to re-level my tripod. I just bumped it. <laughs> Just talking in the background about those beams. I'm not sure if that's going to be Sherwin's, Sherwin Williams' new hangar or part of that uh, astronaut like training facility. I heard I read, I read about earlier this year. I'm assuming it's the new no, hangar for Sherwin, sure but I'm not 100% sure. Delta Connection 5690 heading to Boston. We're doing some practice stuff at home, trying to get the live stream to where it would work so we could do it. Probably do one here in the next couple of weeks. I film with a mirrorless camera, so it's definitely more of a challenge to get the zoom in and zoom out, like grabbing the lens and all that with the tripod and trying to manage all the cables. So looking at maybe going back to a camcorder for some of that stuff. And then definitely for the air shows next year too, going back to using the camcorder. I had that really nice G Master lens I used in Cleveland and I got some Really nice photographs. I thought the video came out pretty well. At the end of the weekend, I was exhausted. So maybe, maybe going back to that, I can plug everything into the video. We'll see. Still so looking to do something for Thanksgiving. Maybe we'll. No, don't think we're going to go on the shot. I would like to go to Cincinnati or maybe even back to Louisville. We'll see how things go. Uh, maybe we'll just do a live stream up here. We'll see. It is beautiful today, though. Thank you all for being here. NetJets, Challenger heading to Scottsdale, Arizona, I believe. It's not NetJets. I apologize. It's Erie Shore, SkyQuest. Delta right now. It's a CRJ as well as the A320. The CRJ is flight 5127. I think
75 heading to Atlanta. with Dale's tripod. He's over here spotting today, too. He's so much smoother as far as, like, turf than mine. He's like, half the price. This one's good for pan, but it's not good for tilt. It's actually designed for this pan. It's a nice tripod. It can hold a lot of weight, but it does not tilt very well. So try to work on that. Two Sierra Hotel contact Cleveland approach one two four point two of Great Day. So, so I'm kind of riding it high a little bit so I can catch up. Five twenty three approach up under three zero four five. It is good if it's more level, like up here it's a little bit more level. Leaving seven thousand. But some of the other areas that I'll go, like Aviator, is kind of on a hill a little bit, and so it's not very good there. Even if I do level the legs up. All right, we got a special livery inbound. It's Southwest Flight One Forty, Colorado One inbound from Baltimore. American Flight 1562, 737 inbound from Charlotte. Frontier Flight 
Over here is the uh, structure we were talking about earlier. Still wondering if this is going to be a new hangar for Sherwin Williams, which I know is coming to the airport. Uh, I've heard about an astronaut training facility that's supposed to be coming to this area. I don't know if it's going to be actually here at the airport or just in the area, but yeah, that's a new construction going on in the field over there by NASA. Four. The uh, UPS MD-11 over there as Seven well. Three. That should be leaving later tonight. Six after Brown, San Diego, star. Meanwhile, we got a United Express Embraer 175 taxi over here to uh, runway six right. Check out my phone to try for what the flight is. <laughs> got a failing though. Flight 3478 heading to Newark. November 3, Charlie Pop, a clear ground, runway 6 right, taxi via Hotel Kilo Lima. Got a couple lining up for runway six left. Worried that the frontier might be getting a little bit close. Meanwhile, in the front is SkyWest. I think it's uh, 5497. I think it was SkyWest. It's a United Express flight inbound from O'Hare. Hard to believe we're only a week and a half away from Thanksgiving. Today the Browns are in Baltimore. They're playing the Ravens. Took a 757 charter. They'll be coming in later tonight. Um, next week, I know they're on the road again. And I believe the next charter that'll be coming in will be the Atlas Air 747 again. That should be bringing, I think, Jacksonville. I think they play next in, here at Cleveland. Looking forward to bringing that in. Apologize, this was a little shaky. I picked it up early and I'm not really in the best spot. Oh, there we go. From Las Vegas. To do a 46 if you like, you can roll to the end. All right, my extended roll is approved at every 5146. We're just a little bit. 73 traffic stopped at 2 o'clock and 4 miles westbound, 5700 uh, Clinton. Clinton, 3770 traffic, 9 o'clock off 3 miles northwestbound out of 9 for 7 is an airbus. I brought my uh, P1000. We got a 
the Lufthansa A340 overhead heading to Atlanta. Connection 5146 inbound from Detroit, CRJ 9. Night is 600 inbound from Fort Myers. Spirit Flight 1173 inbound from Myrtle Beach. I'm surprised this flight's still a thing. We're really past vacation season, especially going to the, to uh, Myrtle Beach. Extended a little bit longer this year. I don't know. Maybe it'll go all winter. I'm not sure. You know, the trial is currently going on between Spirit JetBlue and the Department of Justice about the merger. So we'll see what happens with that. More I, more I talk, the shakier I am. I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> He's dead. United Flight 1704 inbound from Orlando. November 834, contact Youngstown approach 133.95. Good flight. Seven thirty-seven eight hundred on a one hour fifty-three minute flight. Made that drive many times, it's about what, 16, 18 hours. It's an L39. I wish it was coming here, but it's going to Toledo. I gotta take my wife's car to it. 468, clear visual approach, runway 6, Cuyahoga County, no left turn, please. Next week, John. I'll see you guys. You guys take care. All right. Here, take care. Have a good one. Delta Airlines 2649 is an A300, or A300, I wish. Airbus A320 inbound from Atlanta. Three <laughs> <laughs> four would be uh, Roger, clear that visual coach runway uh, six to count. ground runway six right, taxi via two way, two one. One hour, 15 minute flight. At Delta. Yep. Airbus from 
Star Flight 522 inbound from Denver. Southwest Flight 140 heading to Colorado Midway. 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 Okay, 15.54 heading back to Charlotte. Southbound 
traffic is three o'clock and two miles circling going into Columbia. Uh, Columbia, I'm sorry. Fifteen hundred and you can contact us. Usually everything is airborne long before they get to the trees. Frontier Flight 9220 inbound from Orlando. Uh, 140, see you later. Jet Blue 641, turning 260, descend to maintain 3000. Sure what it was. Airport ops going down a hill. Three seven zero contact Youngstown approach one three three point nine or five. Rounds around the airport. JetBlue six forty one clear visual approach from like six left. JetBlue six forty one inbound from Boston. heading to Charlotte. 62 tower and way 6 right, clear for takeoff. Traffic up, wind to helicopter will be north of your position. 6 5 right, 1562, we'll do it to the helicopter. Flight 1, traffic departing, runway 6 right, above 737, will be turning eastbound. Flight 1, Roger, we'll be watching. American get off the ground before the trees, unlike the other one. Yep. Yeah, barely, but it will. Flight 1, Charlotte, 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 Charlotte. Frontier Flight 2436 is an A321 inbound from Turkey.
Express 5298 heading to Chicago. CRJ behind that. Is the uh, CRJ? Got a uh, air share female on here in Fort Lauderdale. Planet approved. I bet that's a fun airplane to fly. It's just small little jet like that. I bet that's a fun airplane to fly. Probably a little more fun than the A320 Neo. Just taxiing behind it. But I imagine that 320 Neo pilot makes more money, so it's a wash, right? This will be off before the trees. And 
dropped out. We got the uh, Frontier A320. Uh, Frontier contact, Wavefront Tower 124.3. Six o'clock, Twenty-two Cleveland Airport, two o'clock, one zero miles. Miles to the uh, west, uh, along the shoreline, uh, for inbound full stop. Three miles, miles, for six right, uh, come for it. For East West November, contact Jim Senefers, one three three point nine zero five. Contact flight ten forty nine. Twenty six to one tower, six left, clear to land. Six left, Advisory frequency approved. Station 917, just suspend via the star, except maintain 8000. 5035, so I'm United 2061, it's a Max 8 inbound from Fort Lauderdale. Two hours and 21 minutes. Got another Frontier A321 Neo and Shelly the Sea Turtle. It's Frontier Flight 2019. I'll be heading to Las Vegas. My favorite frontier tails. I love the sea turtle on the back. It's so pretty. I wonder if they paint that or that's a giant decal. My guess is it's a decal. Doing a turn and burn.
pulled off of the southwest because of the spirit. With the uh, mask livery that I was pulling up. I wanted to get that. I think this is flight 1083 heading to Atlanta. Night at 1241 inbound from Denver. Forty-two. It's a Max Eight inbound for Midway. A little parallel runway action with the United here on the right side. Our plans for the evening kind of fell through a little bit. So I just ended up going home, getting some cleaning done, kind of working on our remodel project a little bit, got rid of some trash. And now we're back up here. We're gonna get the United 757. That'll be coming in here in a little bit. Cleveland Browns with a huge shocker coming back. They were down 24 to nine when I was driving home and winning the game on the last second field goal. Huge win over the Ravens today. I always like seeing the Browns beat the Rat Birds. I'm not a huge Browns fan or football fan, but I'm more into baseball and hockey and that sort of thing. But um, still, always glad to see the see the Ravens lose a huge win for the Browns today and a good good fight for the playoffs for them. American Eagle 60-82 inbound from O'Hare. I went home and I bought the tripod that uh, one of my friends uses up here. The one I bought, it's a Manfrotto, or Manfrotto, however you say it. And it's a nice tripod, but it just I feel like it wobbles really badly, and it's just not very good for, pilt or for tilt. So I was kind of figuring out a little bit more today, but I just want something that has more resistance on it. That thing has no resistance at all. Even though it's supposed to be a fluid head, it just kind of rolls back. Got a SkyQuest Hawker inbound from Houston. I mean, I know some of those tripod issues I was talking about is more on me probably than the tripod. But I'm just kind of adjusting the, the, you know, the different levers and things like that that are on it. And it's either like super tight or like super loose. So I was trying to find that medium to hold the camera still but also to allow us to tilt and pan and that sort of thing. I just didn't feel like I was able to get it with that the way I really want to. So we'll try this one. If it doesn't work, then we'll just go back to the one that we were using. But um, just trying to get nice, stable uh, tripod shots. That way we can start doing some live streams because I couldn't handhold for, you know, two or three hours the whole time. Got to put the camera down, right? <laughs> Whoops. Still a very nice evening up here. Wind is calm. It's about 45 degrees. 
but for the middle of for the middle of November, not bad at all. Southwest Airlines flight 1255 inbound from Nashville. Should be a 737-700. Wonder how many are still in the Canyon Blue livery. I saw one on Flight Radar 24 was in Columbus today. I don't know if it still had that livery, just the picture of it was a Canyon Blue. But I think we're down, last I heard we're down to less than five, so. I don't know if that's true, or there might even be less than that now. Airlines flight 2535. It's a 757 bringing the Cleveland Browns back into town from Baltimore. Best I can do tonight is just get over here. A lot of traffic, a lot of fans here celebrating the Browns win, kind of walking out in front of people. So, yep. about the best I can do. 7 5 should be leaving here fairly soon. Always fun to see these. Like they're about to get ready to pull it out now, maybe. Right, that'll do it for today from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. Comment down below if you want to do that. But I really appreciate everyone's support. Share it with all of your friends. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, welcome. Got some cool things coming up over the next couple of weeks. So looking forward to bringing that to you. And um, we'll go from there. Hope we have a great rest of the night. We'll catch you next time from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Have a great night, everybody.